Hey guys, this is Destroyer1201, The Amazing Mr. X. Uh, I'm here today to tell you how you can install any Minecraft texture pack into Minecraft Windows 10 Edition version 1.0. Uh, first, we're going to give a shout out to YouTuber Mac Big Ice Keys, who found the folder that you have to install these into, as well as the best method for getting there. I recommend you start by watching his video if you're just coming here for the first time. Um, also a big shout out to YouTuber Blinker Wanson, a German YouTuber who apparently, and I say apparently because I don't speak or read German and these videos are very confusing to me, apparently uh, ported BDCraft, uh, Sfax BDCraft, to Windows 10 edition. I used his version uh, to figure out how this process works so that you can do this with any version yourself and right let's begin we're gonna start by opening a file explorer we're gonna go to the C drive and we're gonna type in com.mojang in the search box now this is only going to take a couple of seconds for me but it could take quite a while for you, depending on how slow your machine is and whether or not you've been to the folder before. And in any second here, the com.mojang will appear. There could be multiples, you just want com.mojang. Then you want to go into resource packs, and this folder will be empty for you. I have already downloaded LB Photo Realism for 1.10 and that's right here in the 128 size uh, Minecraft doesn't support a resolution higher than 128 for textures so if you have a 256 or something along those lines it will crash the game to desktop from the main menu and the only way for you get to actually get the game back is to come back in here and delete the folder that contained that texture pack uh, otherwise, um, 3D models do not work for texture packs in Minecraft Windows 10 Edition. So you can load in the packs that contain 3D models, but if your pack is primarily 3D models, be aware that the 3D models themselves will not show up. Uh, otherwise, uh, this is Blinker Watson's BD Craft. We're going to be using it as a bit of a template to show you how to convert uh, photorealism over here to work with Windows 10. So first of all, you're going to want to unzip this folder. So if you're installing this into the Java version of Minecraft, this is technically already installed. It's in the resource packs equivalent folder um, and it's zipped up, that's fine. In normal Minecraft, that's all you have to do. Here, we're going to have to unzip this. So uh, we understand what we're doing. I'm going to be using 7-zip and Notepad++ for the purposes of this video. Uh, you can just use the Notepad that comes with Windows and the Extract tools that come with Windows. Um, so for right now, we're going to 7-zip this. We're going to turn this into a folder with a very nice name. And once that's uncompressed, we're going to delete the original compressed folder. All right, so now we have our 128 folder here, and we're just going to go straight into it. Now we're going to have three folders in all Minecraft texture packs that, are, or I should say files, in all Minecraft texture packs that are going to be important. The assets file folder, the pack.mc meta, and the pack.png. And what you're going to want to do is to edit each one of these a little bit differently. I'm going to step you through the process. Uh, we're going to start with assets. So we're going to go into assets. We're going to go into Minecraft. We're going to drag until we select everything in here. So just click and drag until everything is selected. Uh, you do want to select everything. And then we're going to cut, not copy and we're going to bring it up and paste it into the folder that contained assets. So we're going to paste it here, and we're going to delete assets. There we go. 
Um, next thing that we're going to do, because this is just kind of easy, we're going to rename pack.png. Uh, if you don't see the PNG, don't worry about it. Um, just change the name of this to pack underscore icon. And just hit enter or click anywhere else on the page, and you're good to go. So uh, here comes the hard bit. Pack.mcmeta. Windows 10 Edition doesn't use a pack.mcmeta file. It uses a pack underscore manifest dot JSON file. And you're going to have to create your own based off of what's in that mcmeta file. So let's open this up just for the purposes of demonstration. Here's what this will look like. This is a functioning pack. So we're going to go back to our pack.mcmeta and we're going to open this up in our editor Notepad++. You can use regular Notepad. You'll see that in here there is a pack instead of a header. You're going to want to change this pack to be header. Next thing, you're going to want to change this pack format line. I don't really know what this does. Uh, I don't know if it does anything in uh, this version of Minecraft. I <coughs> personally get rid of it. Um, going over here back to the JSON file, uh, we are going to need all three of these lines. So you're going to have to write these in by hand but I am just going to copy and paste and I'm going to explain to you what each one of these is. So first of all, pack ID is just any number that isn't the same number as another pack. So I'm going to change this to be 40 and that'll be just fine. Uh, any number will do. I don't know if there's a character minimum or maximum. Um, I just changed it to something relatively large um, and the possibly this number of characters may be your limit. Uh, anyway, uh, as far as the name goes, just change it to the name of the pack. So we've got LB Photo Realism. And we're going to put in uh, 128 so that we can differentiate it easily from the others if we need to. As far as this version number goes, um, you can just put in the version of Minecraft that this is for. This is just so that you can easily tell if, you, if your pack has versions and receives updates incrementally. You can tell which one you have. And you're going to save this and close it. And I'm going to close this other one. All right. So if you've done all of that, you'll still have this pack.mcmeta, and we will need to change this. In order to do that, we're going to have to change how uh, Windows displays these names. So first of all, we're going to go up here into this View tab. We're going to click the drop down on Options and click Change Folder and Search Options. Then we're going to go to View, this View tab. Down here, you may need to scroll down but right here, the hide extensions for known file types, this will normally be checked. So it'll look uh, something like this. And you are going to just want to uncheck this and make sure that this is unchecked. And then you hit OK. And you should see a whole bunch of extensions up here. So you'll see license.txt, you'll see pack icon, uh, PNG, you'll see sounds.json, that kind of thing. So now you see pack.mcmeta, we're going to have to edit this. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this from uh, the Blinker Watson BD craft, but you will not be able to, so you'll have to type this by hand. Be aware that if you get it wrong, this won't work, but you can always change it again. Make sure that you type it correctly. It is pack underscore manifest dot json. If you hit enter or click anywhere else on the page, Windows will warn you that you could destroy the, your files by doing this. Um, you're sure what, of what you're doing. The, you actually want to click yes here. So that gives you a pack underscore manifest 
JSON. And if you open this up, just to prove the point, you can see that our file is not destroyed, it is working correctly. So, now we're ready to boot into Minecraft. So you start Minecraft, go to Settings, Global Resources, and you scroll down until you find LB Photorealism or whatever pack you are using. And you hit the plus sign, and there it is. There's LB Photorealism. So I'm going to boot into my world. Just to demonstrate that this is working. And here you can see we have our very sharp, very nice 128 texture pack, and it is functioning correctly, save for the glaring flaw in the middle of the screen. So, allow me to explain. Minecraft Windows 10 Edition does something that appears to mess with the pointers. Uh, in order for you to get this to work, you'll have to get rid of your pointers that are changed, uh, assuming that you have a problem like this. If, if your pointer's kind of small, or designed for this anyway, you won't have an issue. Um, otherwise, you'll need to do what I'm doing here. So we are going to go into one of these folders. I believe it is textures, GUI, yep, that's right. And we're going to go into these icons. So these icons, we're going to select each one, and I'm just going to delete them. But if you want to keep the rest of them, you're going to have to go in there and um, change the specific space in there that is reserved for the cursor. Uh, just manually erase it until it's alpha channel, and you'll have to uh, use something like GIMP to do that. So right now we're just going to delete these as a quick and easy fix, and the default Minecraft stuff will replace it. So let's boot up Minecraft again, and we're going to go in to my world. And here you can see that the pointer is now usable. And as I said, you can go ahead and edit that if you know how. Uh, that is, those two are the files that you need to change. But that's all you need to do to get any pack working here in the Windows 10 edition of Minecraft. So I hope this video was useful to you. I hope that I didn't miss anything. Uh, let me know in the comments below uh, how I did. Uh, this is Destroyer12101, The Amazing Mr. X, signing off.